Okay, so this is really simple, beautiful. Crostinis are awesome because anybody can do them. Um, use really beautiful ingredients. It's all about visual, color, it's like a painting. So just get a nice like country loaf and you're just gonna cut on the bias here, okay? So you have nice big pieces there. So now we're gonna toast our crostini bread in the beautiful wood-fired oven here. We have some beautiful toasted crostini bread right here. So this one you're gonna buy baby artichokes which are in season in the summer. We're going to just kind of trim this stem up and then we'll just cut them in half. We just kind of brown them, caramelize them. We love to get like, throw in a little garlic and of course some butter. We just want to coat those artichokes with that butter. Top the crostini. Beautiful. Spread the crostini with some cannellini bean dip. Okay. We're gonna take our pretty artichokes here that have been sauteed in chili flake, garlic, olive oil, and butter. And you wanna kind of present them face up so you can see those pretty leaves. And then we've got some shaved Parmesan here. You just crumple some of that over the top. And then the final touch is you want a really nice, dark, beautiful olive oil. And you're just gonna drizzle the top right there. And there you have it. Summer artichoke crostini party time. Enjoy. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is, I think everyone's favorite. It is fig, prosciutto, and burrata with balsamic reduction. So I don't know who doesn't like that. It's so awesome. Here we have fresh figs and we are just going to have them. So beautiful, look at that, it's like a painting. Nature's art. <laughs> and then you're gonna take fresh burrata and we're just gonna um, kinda pull it apart, open it up so you've got a half with the cream inside. Okay, next we are going to add the um, thinly sliced prosciutto and you just kind of crumple that on top. So you've got this salty prosciutto, creamy, delicious ricotta, and then the sweet figs. Okay, again, we're gonna do the beautiful inside out, just like the artichokes, you wanna see that. Beautiful color. These are already pretty sweet. So when you add your balsamic reduction, you don't wanna get crazy here. Just a pretty nice light drizzle. And there you have it, that is so pretty. Ta-da! Okay, now is everyone's least favorite, the crab and avocado. <laughs> so you've got your jumbo lump crab, and we're gonna dress it really quick. So just throw your crab in a bit mixing bowl here. And again, we are like in perfect avocado season. Get your, scoop your slices out there, and we're just gonna lay it really pretty on the crostini and then you're just gonna top it with some of the lemon um, dressed crab here. We have a few more things to top it with. We're gonna top it with some chopped up tomato. We've got some thinly sliced radish. And then we're gonna top it with uh, micro pea shoots. And you want nice fresh lemon zest. And then it gives it just a little bit more color. These are just so beautiful. They have so much color and everyone will love you. Crab and avocado, ta-da! Okay guys, we're gonna do um, the zucchini carpaccio one now. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, zucchini. We are going to thinly slice it on the mandolin. So we're just gonna roast this really quickly. In the oven, extra virgin olive oil, kosher salt, pepper, high heat. So we've got uh, fresh ricotta cheese. Put that in your food processor. Two or three lemons, so lots of lemon zest in there. Gives it a really nice, airy, beautiful texture. Mm, so good, okay. Put some of this beautiful whipped ricotta with the lemon. You can see the lemon zest kind of coming through there. So pretty. You just want to kind of give it some height, 
You don't want it to be perfect. Just kind of lay it on there. Grab some fresh basil. I personally like to see the basil leaf. And then we'll do a little bit more lemon zest. Dress to your plate, extra virgin olive oil. Some cracked pepper. And this is just a really simple, light, vegetarian crostini. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is um, just cherry tomato, burrata, balsamic, and basil. So think caprese. So you're just gonna half them like you did the figs. You're gonna take your burrata, you're just gonna open it up. Cream side out. So you're just gonna sprinkle these beautiful cherry heirloom tomatoes over the top. You're gonna take some fresh picked basil just like a beautiful caprese. And we're gonna drizzle it with some balsamic reduction. So simple, have it on a plate, summertime. There you go. Okay, we're done.